are you running your RAM sticks in their proper slots on your motherboard? If not, then you're losing a lot of performance and FPS in games because of it. Let's find out. Before I tell you how to set up your RAM in dual channel mode, let me quickly show you how much FPS you will gain by just switching to dual channel mode. Here is an average FPS percentage gains chart in a single and dual channel mode comparison in various different games. As you can see, the gains are pretty huge in dual channel mode. If you wish to watch this full test video, you can click the card on top of this video to watch it. Now there can be mostly two ways in which your RAM sticks are configured. Either they are in single channel or dual channel mode. The reason I said mostly because there is also triple and quad channel configurations as well. But they are not really what the majority of us uses. So I won't really cover them in this video. Before you know how to set up dual channel RAM, you need to know some things about your RAM sticks. The first that is you will need two identical RAM sticks. It means they should have the same capacity, the same frequency and timings. You can find all these on the RAM sticks only. In most cases, if you are building a new PC or buying new RAM sticks for your new PC or your old PC, you should look for dual channel RAM kits where you get two sticks of RAM together. These are tested especially for dual channel configurations and quad channel and triple channel, but I won't really co cover them. Do not buy quad channel kits for use in dual channel motherboards. By the way, they will technically work, but sometimes there can be issues. So just buy dual channel kits. Now let's see how you should be installing your RAM sticks actually. If you have two sticks of RAM, what you should be doing is installing them like this. One stick, then leave one slot, then install the second stick. Do not put them one after the other like this. Now what if you have four RAM slots and four RAM sticks with you? What you have to do is just fill all the slots up as you have no other choice to do. It will be running on dual channel mode by default. Finally, if you have a single stick of RAM, just install it into any of the slots you want. Like there's nothing else to do here, right? We are not completely done yet. After properly installing your RAM sticks in their correct slots, we have to turn on XMP or DOCP from motherboard's BIOS. Now XMP stands for Extreme Memory Profile. You will find this option on Intel platform motherboards and DOCP stands for Direct Overclocking Profile. You will find this on AMD platforms. To turn it on, you need to go to your BIOS and find XMP or DOCP and turn it on. This will overclock your RAM sticks and put them at their maximum rated speeds. Like in my case, I have 3200 MHz RAM, but it will run on 2133 MHz if I do not turn on XMP or DOCP. In case you don't have dual channel configurations, by the way, you still can technically also turn on XMP or DOCP from BIOS and get some performance improvement on single channel mode as well. So how does dual channel memory actually work? Now that I've showed you how to install them in dual channel configuration, let's see how it actually works. Now, as you can see, this motherboard has four RAM slots, which means it is a dual channel board. As you can see, they are labeled at the bottom as DIMM A1, A2, B1, B2. Uh, in this case, you will fill channel A slot 0 and channel B slot 0. This will make your RAM use both the channels A and B, which means you'll be running on dual channel configuration. The more channels you use, the faster and more data your RAM will be able to send and receive to and from the CPU at the same time. Think of it like a two lane highway and a four lane highway. The four lane highway will be able to handle more traffic than the two lane highway. Most motherboards these days have alternate RAM channel slots, just like the one I showed you. But in some motherboards, the labeling of channels might be different. So consider your motherboard manual for that. Also in many boards, you may find color indicating the different channels. So you install on the same colored slots and sometimes it's the other way around also. Different channels have same colors, so you do want to install your RAM in the same colored slots like in this motherboard here. By the way, in many mid to higher end motherboards, if you have not installed your RAM in their correct slots for the maximum performance, then your system will show a warning message when you turn on your computer saying that the RAM are not installed on their proper slots. Before ending this video, here are some answers to some questions many of you might ask. You can pause the video and read them here. If you got any other questions, feel free to comment them down below. 
I hope I was able to teach you how to install your RAM sticks in dual channel mode and also what are RAM channels, how they work on a motherboard in basic terms. If you did gain some performance and FPS in games by doing this, please do give a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Bye. Take care.